everyone, this is Katie from Tropical Looms, and today I'll be showing you how to create this really cool inverted ropes bracelet. This bracelet is reversible, so on the reverse side it's kind of curved in, and then on the side it has this really cool pattern. But this bracelet is a hybrid theory design, and it's my original design, and I designed this a while ago. And yeah, before we get started, I just want to show you this quick little chart that I made for you guys. So, I'm just going to erase that. So, there's going to be an A colored band, a B colored band, and a C colored band. Then there's stitches, so the stitches are the mermaid twist, which is the third stitch, the inverted center, which is the second stitch we do. The first stitch we do is the inverted bottom. So, yeah. Today, I'll be using the Rainbow Loom Web Store's curl bands and silicone bands, and I'll be doing the same color combo as I did in this bracelet. So, let's get started. And I'll be using a master tail and metal tip hook, and you will need one C clip. So, let's get started. I'm so sorry, I forgot to tell you that this, the reason why I call it the Inverted ropes bracelet is because it's inverted, like all the stitches are inverted stitches. And there's like the Caribbean green kind of overlaps over the silicone glitter white and the blue and purple pearl. And those look like ropes. So that's why I called it the inverted ropes bracelet. So let's get started. So to start with the bracelet, you're going to grab an A colored band, which will be your glitter white. As you can see on your chart, this is your A colored band, B colored band, and C colored band. And I'll go A and B bands now. So the B would be that, my rope color. And C, or sorry, that's the wrong color. And my C band, right here. And that would be my kind of inner band. So yeah. So, you're going to grab a glitter white, a cap band, push this down, grab another glitter white, push this down, you're going to grab a Caribbean green, place that on top, go over the bottom bands on both the pins, push this down, grab your next color, and we're going to grab a C-colored band. I'm sorry, my um, camera is telling me that it is on low battery, so now I'm going to put in the charger. I'm sorry if you hear like little noises. There we go. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab another glitter. You're going to grab another glitter band. So, yeah, you grab another glitter band. So you're going to grab your hook, and what you're going to do is an inverted bottom. So an inverted bottom is when you hook over the second from the bottom band, you grab the very bottom band and hook it over. And you do the same thing, and then focus on the camera. Come on. Well, there we go. And you're going to do an inverted bottom again, so push back the second from the bottom band, grab the very bottom band, I don't even know what just happened. Do that again. <laughs> grab the second from the bottom band, grab the very bottom band, and tuck it over. It might get a little bit loose because this is your first stitch. Um, and it, uh, it, it looks loose when it's supposed to, but it'll look fine. On your wrist, as you can see. If you use this color combo. I mean, you don't have to, but that's a suggestion. So you're gonna grab your B colored band, and now you're gonna do an inverted center, which this stitch is actually used in the mermaid tail braces. If you know what that bracelet is. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna push back the middle two bands, grab the very bottom band, and hook it over. Do the same thing, push back the middle two bands, grab the very bottom band, and hook it over. It's like to tug on that band that's tight. 
So now you're gonna grab another blue and purple curl, and you're going to do the mermaid twist stitch. And it's actually used in the mermaid twist bracelet. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna, oh my gosh, ow, I have a scratch. So I'm gonna push back the second from the top band, grab the very bottom band, hook it over. I'm gonna show you one more time. Push back the second from the top band, grab the very bottom band, and hook it over. And if this moves to the top, just bring it back to the middle, because that's where it's supposed to be. And somebody actually requested to do this. Um, a user named Christina Ann. Christ oh my gosh, I always say Christina. It's Krista Ann. So sorry. But, so now, oh my gosh, it's so bright. You're going to do an inverted bottom. So you're going to push back the second from the bottom band, grab the very bottom band, hook it over. Do the same thing. Push back the second from the bottom band, grab the very bottom band, and hook it over. Push this down, grab your B colored band, right here, I'll keep the chart behind the background, it's smart. And now you're going to do an inverted center, so you're going to push back the center two bands, grab the very bottom band, hook it over, do the same thing, push back the center two bands, grab the very bottom band, and hook it over. Push this down. see the inverted ropes pattern starting to grow and let me focus because it's focusing more on the background there we go so now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your C colored band and sorry like, these colors are way behind the camera so you're going to grab your C colored band put it on top you're going to do a mermaid twist stitch so what you're going to do is you're going to push back the second from the top band, grab the very bottom band, hook it over, do the same thing, push back the second from the top band, grab the very bottom band, and hook it over. Push this down, pull on the cap band, and then I'm going to show you guys one more time the full hooking steps because this bracelet is not that hard. So you're going to place on a glitter white band. You're going to push back, you're going to do the inverted bottom. So what you're going to do is you're going to push back the second from the bottom band, grab the very bottom band and hook it over. Do the same thing, push back the second from the bottom band, grab the very bottom band and hook it over. Push this down, grab the second color, or your V colored band, sorry. You're going to do an inverted center. So you're going to push back the center two bands, grab the very bottom band, and hook it over. Do the same thing, push back the center two bands, grab the very bottom band, and hook it over. And you're going to place on your blue and purple pearl band. You're going to push back the second from the top band, grab the very bottom band, and hook it over. Do the same thing. Push back the second from the top band, grab the very bottom band, and hook it over. Push this down. And now I'm going to finish the length of my bracelet. Pause the video here if you are having trouble or rewatch the previous instructions if you need more help. And here's just a little quick, a quick overview of the bracelet. It should look like this. And you're done and it looks amazing and yeah I'm going to go off camera and finish the length of my bracelet so when you're done with the length of your bracelet your bracelet should look like this and I know I didn't really finish it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your glitter white and then you're just gonna hook, hook all the bands Hook this over. I'm going to grab a C clip. And I know I'm just grabbing a big one. I'm just going to clip it, take it off, 
And on the other side, there's just a regular cap band. So you just clip that. And yeah, thank you for watching this tutorial on my inverted ropes bracelet. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and you can find me on Google Plus. And yeah, thanks for watching.